Good evening and welcome to another Hacker Rank short video. Today we're looking at the plus minus warm up question. Uh, so we're given an array of integers and we're asked to calculate the fraction of its elements that are positive, negative, and zeros. And then we're asked to print each decimal value of the fractions on a new line. <clears throat> and then we're given uh, some test cases, right? They're scaled up to six decimal places, though the answers with absolute value zero uh, are up to 10 to negative four are acceptable. And you guys can see here that we're given an example. We have one, one, zero, and negative ones, right? And for the ones, we have two of them, so it's gonna be two over five. And then we have a zero here, right? Which is going to be one over five. And then we have the negatives, right? Which are going to be two over fives here. And then all we have to do is print out the ratios in six decimal places. Um, here, the input is just an array. And then the constraints here, uh, just regular uh, ints. Um, so we have uh, three steps here. So we have to um, get the, so a decimal representing, representing of the fraction of positive numbers is the array compared to its size, and then the negative, and then the zeros as well. All right, so this doesn't seem too bad. I think I can probably just do this right away without looking at anything else. All right, so um, let's let's get started here. So we know we have to keep track of the count. So uh, we can do something like uh, int uh, pause is going to equal to zero, right? And int um, neg is going to equal to zero and and z for zero is going to equal to zero and then we just have to go over the ra so i'm going to say for uh int a and r and then we just have to check uh each case here i'm going to say if a is greater than uh, zero that means that it's positive so we could just uh, do a pause plus plus and if uh, a is less than zero then it's negative so we can do neg plus plus and if um, a is equal equal to zero then we can do z plus plus. Okay, so I think that should be the, that should be good. And then we have to get the ratios, right? Um, yeah, we have to get the ratios. Uh, so we can easily use uh, system out dot print f here and give it a formatted output. Um, so let's do a uh, system out dot print f. All right, and we want to do uh, six decimal places. So we we'll do percent uh, point six and then f and percent and because it has to be printed on its own line, and then we probably want to uh, cast the result to a double. So we're going to say double. Um, and then we're going to use the first one has to be positive. So we're going to say pause is going to divide it by um, r dot length because that's the number of uh, number of items. If I'm spelling this right. All right. So that's going to be the first one, and then we could just duplicate this for the rest. Copy this. Control V. Okay, I think I copied an extra. All right, and here we're going to do a negative. All right, and then we're gonna apply this for zero. Just copy this one more time. I don't wanna copy that extra brace and let's do zero. All right, mm. so we have negative, we have 
we have positive, negative, and we have zero. All right, I think this should be it for this part of the problem. So let's go ahead and run the code and see if that works. Okay, so that works. And let's submit. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. Have a good day. Bye-bye.